welcome to this week's Bunhai Wednesdays. In this episode, we're looking at our new self-defense syllabus for green belts. These situations are based on the form Pyong Idan. And we did the first technique a few weeks back, and now we're looking at the second technique. So I want to reiterate that these go from someone with their guards up, but it could come from any of the positions that we covered in the orange belt syllabus. Basically, they haven't quite attacked yet. In the green belt, they're always going to step forward and throw a swinging punch. In the videos I'm showing on the right, we should always practice it right and left and then both sides. The main objective should be to crash forward, but this is not always the case. Most of us will step back and flinch back. So this is the stepping back chop from Pian Yidan. From there then, you're going to quickly control their tricep and move forward and chop. Now this is why I want to reiterate everything that you learned in the first drill will now work here. But what we're going to decide to do is decide to look at the Kuang Su, the spear hand, and take them down. So after a few chops, what you're going to do is control the arm with your right leg, step behind them into a front stance, and hit with the palm heel motion, not the fingers. And this is because fingers break, but the palm heel never breaks. If you're in class, uh, you're going to use the chin to push across, but you have to go slowly but this is an ideal area to strike in reality, but we can't do it in class. So if you want to strike a bit harder, go to the shoulder. From there, you're going to disrupt their position, but you might not take them down. So the next bit of the form is the three-quarter turn into the middle chop. You're going to bring your left leg in and spin, and this will take them to the floor. When they take them to the floor, you can step back away, hands up. So just do that entire again. When they put their hands up, you're going to put your hands up in the fence position. You're going to take a backward step in motion into a chop and quickly transition into the second chop, stepping forward. This is left and right A to B transition. Then you're going to put in a couple of strikes. If they don't strike back, you're then going to step behind them and take them down with the Quang Su. Three quarter turn and move away. Thank you very much for watching this video on the second technique of our new green belt self-defense syllabus. In a few weeks time, we'll be covering the third technique. And again, they will result in a huge pressure test. So keep watching. And in the meantime, if there are any other forms that aren't in the Pyong series, please message below and I will cover them in future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks.